Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Shure MV88 microphone system for iOS devices and comparing it to professional microphones and recording systems so that one can see and hear how good a system this is for the student or professional musician on the go to record rehearsals, practice sessions, or performances. Uh, with devices that they already may have, like an iPhone, an iPod, or an iPad. In this demonstration, the first microphones you'll be hearing will be a pair of Octava MK319 large diaphragm condenser microphones, which have been extensively modified by Michael Jolie Engineering. The head basket has been modified such that there is a minimal amount of screening to disrupt the flow of sound coming into the capsule and once sound comes into the head basket that there is a minimal amount of reflection making for the clearest possible sound to be recorded. The electronics of this have also been extensively uh, modified. It is basically a Sheps type of um, microphone pre-amplifier that's inside the body of the microphone and it eliminated the two circuits which are in here a high-pass filter and a limiter to um, so that loud sounds don't over um, stimulate the microphone and corrupt the sound. So those have been bypassed and it's a very simple um, circuit with the highest possible components in them to produce an excellent sound. Now the other microphone that I compare with the MV88 is this small diaphragm condenser microphone that is made uh, custom made by Michael Jolie Engineering. This is the MJE384, um, which is aimed to reproduce the characteristic sound of a Neumann K84 or um, the Sheps small diaphragm. Uh, condensers. Now these are considered this kind of small diaphragm. I'll show you the difference in the diaphragms sizes. You can see that it's much smaller. Now these have a tendency to be much more accurate and less colored sound. Now large diaphragms capsules are often um, desired because they have what some people believe is a warmth to the sound of them. I'm not quite sure what that means in terms of what we experience, but that is what a, a lot of people seem to think about the large diaphragm capsules. Um, but it's widely acknowledged that the most accurate microphones are small diaphragms. So uh, these were placed in a uh, spaced pair, about 16 inches apart, with the capsules as close together as possible. So there's a minimal distance, so there's a minimal difference between the sound that each of these is picking up. The Shure microphone was placed in between, immediately between them and was at exactly the same distance from the cello. So the first difference between um, the Shure microphones and the um, other microphones that I'll be comparing them to is that um, the Shure microphone is about $149, and each of these microphones by themselves is many times that. Now, for each of these, I use two of them. There's two large diaphragms in, the, in, the, um, in that demonstration, and there's two small diaphragms in that. So you're talking about an order of magnitude um, greater expense just for the microphones. In addition, these devices, these microphones, need to go through an interface device in order for the sound to be recorded on a computer. And in this case, I use a Focusrite um, uh, interface. It's the Scarlett I818, which has excellent microphone preamplifiers and excellent digital audio conversion. And that's important. Um, so you, you're in many ways, it's an unfair comparison because you have dedicated devices in the case of these professional microphones for performing those functions of amplification and digital conversion. 
uh, whereas you're relying on something as small as an iPhone to perform these functions. So I don't think it's unfair in that the purpose of this is that you can appreciate just what you can do with a device as simple and as inexpensive as this Shure microphone with your iOS device. So without any further ado, here are the demonstrations of the Large Diaphragm Octava MK319, the MJE384, and the Shure MV88.
Thank mm-hmm. you.